All right, folks, this is Nacido from Nacido's Art, and we're going to do a drawing, a portrait drawing on a dry, with a, a dry wish, on a dry erase board with a dry erase marker. Uh, we're going to start off by uh, doing the uh, outline of the silhouette of the head. It's just a uh, pinpoint. Uh, use eye, eyeball it. You know, it doesn't have to be perfect. Anything you need to, co needs to be corrected, uh, will be corrected later on. Uh, Right now I'm doing the uh, the uh, the hairline, and there I am facing the cranium, the back of the head, making a little bit of adjustments there. You know, this has to be perfect. Uh, right now we just got trying to get the foundation down. All right, and then from uh, when I'm satisfied, I usually start. Uh, I work from top to bottom. So uh, what's next after the uh, the hair, the eyebrows? Well, I'm putting in the eyebrows using using uh, the, my photo reference, uh, and also I'm eyeballing it to my bed adjustment. Remember, any anything that needs to be corrected, anything that needs to be adjusted, and all to be done. As long as you're using a pencil and you're and you're uh, making your lines very, very, very lightly. Okay, you want to make your lines lightly because uh, if you need to erase or make an adjustment, you can do that, and you're not going to leave a, any residue or give it that ghosting effect. Um, whenever you do decide to uh, shade or even color your 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 uh, portrait drawing. And right now I'm doing the eyes. Self-explanatory. Any indication of wrinkles? Now, uh, from the middle of the uh, of the uh, tear duct of the eye, I usually count about. I uh, look at the size of the actual uh, size of the eye, and I usually by by eyeballing it, I usually measure down. Like it's usually one, two, one, two, three. Like three eyes down. That's where the where the uh, the the nose starts. So I make the indication of the of the nostril, the side of the nostril of the nose, right underneath the tear duct. And uh, then from there, I just uh, add the uh, the second the second uh, um, nostril, and then add the indication of the uh, of the uh, nostril from the side. Um, and uh, the nose is usually um, coded there for reference. The nose is about the size of an eye, or maybe just a little bit bigger. Uh, well, I'm talking about the uh, the length, uh, so you can uh, also use the eyes as reference for that for the nose. Um, all right, my hair is just uh, indicating the uh, the wrinkles uh, of, the, of of the uh, of the mouth area. Uh, now when, I, when it comes to the actual lips, I uh, uh, basically I just pinpoint um, like uh, the length of the, uh, of the of the lips, the the V shape. Uh, I'll get, I'll get uh, uh, down the middle of the actual uh, point of the the point of the nose. Um, the, to the to my best of my abilities. Um, remember, I just I'm I'm balling it. Any adjustments, I'll uh, I'll uh, I'll fix later. Um, of course, I, I'm using a dry erase marker, so uh, uh, if I need to erase, well, you, you just use my fingers. But um, then, of course, if you're using a pencil, a regular paper, you're going to use uh, uh, an eraser. Uh, make sure you use a rubber eraser. Uh, those uh, white um, rubber erasers, uh, so they won't mess up. It won't mess up your paper. Uh, you don't want to use the traditional uh, school erasers. Those will tear up your paper and. Uh, they're not very good with erasing uh, or for art, you know. Now the length of the mouth, I usually uh, go by. Uh, uh, once again, I I keep referring back to the eyeball, but that's my point of reference. I'll use an eye or an eyeball as a point of reference uh, after I uh, to do the the uh, inner details, the nose, the mouth, and the other eye. So I use uh, that that eye point as a point of reference, either perpendicular or or horizontally. So the end point of the mouth on each side, I use the eye to calculate when the uh, end point of the mouth uh, when the end point of the mouth will be. Uh, on each side, uh, according to the eye, I, I just drew. So my point of reference to uh, draw other uh, 
characteristics of the, characteristics of the portrait or the character is uh, it's usually an eye. Now, one of the hardest things uh, with drawing portraits it's uh, the eye, because sometimes uh, in a portrait, you think and you're looking at a portrait or the draw uh, or the picture, you're trying to draw it, and you do, when you do a freestyle, sometimes it, you think you're doing it correctly because uh, your eye kind of your eyes kind of play trick on you. But when you step back and look at it, you, you find out like in this situation, one of the eyes is actually uh, higher than the other one. Um, but that's something that you know we're going to fix uh, in a moment here. Because uh, right now, we just want to, like I mentioned earlier, we don't want to focus on just one portion of the drawing. We want to focus on the whole of the drawing as a whole. Um, and then from there, we're going to make uh, any adjustments, any corrections we'll make later on. Um, but people, the other mistake people make when they make portraits is that um, if they mess, on some, mess up on something, a particular characteristic, a particular portion, a particular body part, of a drawing, uh, like right there, I'm I'm fixing the uh, the uh, the cranium. I made it a little too short. I'm fixing it as I go along, but that's that's uh, uh, to to my reference to to my point that if you miss on some, uh, miss up on something when you draw on something, what do we usually do? We usually spend uh, um, hours just trying to fix that particular portion of the drawing, and uh, at the same time, they're neglecting the other. The uh, drawing as a whole, the other the other portions, the other the other body parts of the drawing, and uh, it pretty soon uh, you just concentrate on that on the particular portion that uh, if one thing happens, you usually you'll give up, or you get to the point where um, you get so uh, frustrated or tired getting that particular portion just right that at the end you end up uh, mixing up or. Uh, basically getting lazy and uh, not caring about the rest of the uh, drawing and just finishing up what you have and uh, you don't want to do that like right now i already know that i i, I made one eye um slightly uh uh higher than the other one but rather than stop and and just concentrating on that particular eye and fixing it i decided to do the whole um the rest of the body work on it and 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 uh getting getting the funda basically getting the foundation down and um and i know i'll keep repeating this but it's very important um as long as you get the foundation down first you'll be able to uh, make adjustments or or fix any 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 mistakes later on um as you go along which i will do here in a moment um but that's one of the uh main things i might mean, get away uh takeaways i want you to, uh want you to, to get when you make a drawing in a particular this particular style, I, I don't know if this is an, an actual, if this is an actual um, phrase for this or or or, or a um, a term for this, this type of a uh, style. I just call it silhouette or outline style. When you make a silhouette or uh, the uh, start with the outline of the uh, of the head or or the body, uh, depending on the on the type of um, reference you're looking at. And then from there you work from uh, from top to bottom and fill everything in. Um, when you do it this way, um, y the character's not gonna look, uh, or your your drawing's not gonna look uh, exactly like the reference um, right away. Um, you you are gonna be uh, needing to make adjustments um, and make corrections here and there, uh, but just that's gonna, that's gonna that's that's uh, that's that's uh, part of the joy of uh, of, of drawing, uh, at least for me, of portraits. Um, and uh, you are going to get to the point where you get you get 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 real good at at at, at, uh, at drawing proportions. That uh, it gets to the point where it's going to be like thick nature. You know, you won't even have to uh, uh, use a point of reference anymore. Uh, you'll know you basically just by looking at looking you know exactly how far down the eye is going to go uh, or how far down the nose from the eye is or or the or, uh, or the mouth uh, uh, etc uh, of course uh, each person's facial structure is different uh, some people eyes are a little bit higher uh, or a little bit lower nose a little bit longer shorter and so on but you know that's that's gonna come uh, come with practice all right so um, oh and I forgot uh, then if I didn't mention uh, um, I, I am making a, a a portrait 
uh, from a reported reference of uh, Tony Montana or uh, um, Al Pacino playing Tony Montana from the movie uh, Scarface. All right, so, so okay, so right now I'm just um, filling in the uh, the eyes, uh, the well, the uh, the pupils, the self-explaining story. Um, at this point, it's uh, ain't really much much to much to to add. I'm just adding in the details. Um, oh, just real quick. Uh, I uh, my channel uh, when I started my channel uh, it's uh, it, uh, I started my channel because of course uh, like you a lot of us were out of work during this particular situation we're in um, and uh, I need something to do and one of my, my passion was always always art and drawing um, I never considered myself a, a, a great artist um, I'm 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 still learning a, learning and as a matter of fact I. I, uh, I was very, I was very, very uh, timid with my work, like showing it off to people, uh, because I, I seen other artists um, that are really, really I do consider them art, artists that are just amazing, and uh, I can never get to the, uh, I can never, won't get to their, their their level, at least not now. But uh, the reason I started this, this this art channel is because I want to give the uh, give the uh, underdog a chance. I want um, I want I want to give those who are who are shy with their artwork to uh, to uh, come out of the shells, come out of the shells, and, and not be afraid to show the artwork and uh, learn. And the other way we're going to learn, and the other way we're going to grow, is by uh, getting getting out of our comfort zone and get about, uh, you know and not being shy. And that's what I'm doing with my artwork. I'm doing my artwork, and I'm 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 sure I already know there's people that are way way better uh, than than what I'm doing with my artwork. You know, my artwork doesn't even compare. Um, but the reason I do uh, I'm, I'm I'm doing this is because I want to give um, if folks out there uh, uh, beginners to intermediate uh, people like myself a chance to uh, to grow grow together and get better and not be ashamed of showing off our uh, artwork um, and also I, I want to do this, do this uh, my, my channel is also about being creative and finding different different trying to use different mediums to draw or make portraits or whatever type of uh, art you want to make no matter the tools uh, in this case um, I have this is a uh, dry erase board that I actually bought from uh, from uh, Dollar Tree uh, with the uh, dry erase marker, this two dollars in total, and the thing I'm showing that you don't need expensive equipment, you don't need exp expensive tools, expensive uh, art supplies to uh, to get drawing, start drawing, or start practicing drawing and getting better with drawing. Look what I'm doing right now. Um, I'm making a portrait using dry erase marker and a dry erase board. Uh, yes, it's a quick port uh, portrait. Yes, it's uh, it's not perfect, but it's it's uh, it's something that's being done. I'm actually making art, and uh, it's, it's being done for only two dollars. You don't have to buy the most expensive equipment to get to to uh, get great results or make something that's satisfying um, or pleasing to the eye. So, So this is a dry erase marker, but uh, on my channel you're gonna see other 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 types of of, uh, of uh, um, how tos, how drawings. Um, if you look at my previous, my, <laughs> if you look at my previous uh, um, my previous uh, uh, how tos, um, there was a lot of camera shaking, a lot of um, 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 I'm still I mean I'm still doing that, but. Uh, as I get along, uh, as I'm coming along, uh, I'm getting more comfortable in, in, in doing these sessions, and um, and and uh, I'm, I'm I'm trying to uh, to uh, basically uh, get come out of my comfort zone. Um, so, because uh, if you don't know about me, I'm I'm actually a very reserved, shy, shy person, and uh, yeah, I could have uh, probably wrote down a script before doing this or before doing a lot of my. Uh, my uh, my art tutorials, but uh, I want to be true to myself if I, if I make a, made a script, because um, I want to get better. 
now in 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 my art and I don't uh, in helping you out getting better better at your art as we go along. But I also want to get better at my speech. I want to get better at 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 uh. And uh, having a conversation uh, with your folks out there, um, and uh, that only is going to happen if I if I do it off the cuff. If I, if I make a script, it's not going to be it's not going to help me, and it's not going to help it's not going to help you out uh, when it comes to uh, improving. So, um, my channel Nacido's Art that's what it's about. It's about uh, growing, not as a uh, not only as a YouTuber, um, as a uh, as a as an art, uh, but also growing as an artist. And uh, and I hope I inspire you to get better, get out of your comfort zone, and uh, you know just start drawing. You know, don't be ashamed of your artwork. That's what my channel is for. We're gonna grow together. Uh, I'm gonna show you everything from using different mediums, uh, from dry erase markers, using construction paper. Yes, even construction paper. Uh, using uh, pins. Uh, how to make art with pins. And uh, uh, eventually we're gonna do acrylics. We're gonna do uh, markers and uh, even even crowns. Yes, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna do art with crowns also. So my channel is gonna be there to to help you out and uh, and grow. Now, um, part of growing with my channel is that after after this session is done, <coughs> excuse me. <clears throat> oh, sorry. Apologize. I didn't mean to cough. Um, I might edit this out. Uh, I might edit, edit that, that part out. But yeah, like I was saying, um, part of my uh, my uh, drawing sessions is that that um, I want to show you that you don't have to have expensive equipment. You don't have to have uh, the most expensive uh, uh, color pencils, uh, markers, acrylics to uh, to to to. Uh, save your artwork or even um uh color in your artwork uh i'm not a i'm not a very good co uh, color i'm not a very good shader uh myself but uh one trick that i learned is that uh if you have a smartphone well everybody has a smartphone uh just uh download you can always go to uh uh an app, uh, the apps app store and for free you can download a, a program called uh, uh like drawing programs or uh like uh, for example um it's called media bing m-e-d-i-a b-a-n-g media bing or you can use um S sketchbook pro those two drawing programs like you can always uh take the 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 portrait that you're drawing the reference uh e either on your p a piece of paper take a good quality uh picture of it or even better scan it on your computer if I'm there, load it up to that to that to that drawing app, coloring app, and what you can do is you, you can do like uh, if you want to do it, you know, keep keep it traditional, like uh, traditional drawing. You can pick uh, different palettes. Uh, you can do it in either uh, oil pastel, uh, 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 markers, um, Copic markers, uh, pen, uh, color pencils, whatever, whatever uh, the reference. You can do that and use as a reference to. Uh, to color in and shade in your 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 drawing, uh, you know, and you can mess up all you want because you already have the original uh, available, and you can also practice your coloring. You can practice your shading. You don't have to break, break your bank. You don't have to worry about buying a uh, uh, pen or pencils. You can do everything on your on on your, on your computer or on your smartphone. You can you can draw. All you all you need is to download the app, those particular apps, um, and use like uh, one of those. Uh, touch touch pins um and uh, you're good to go um and you'll see there in the end when i end, end with this drawing you're gonna see uh what i, I did as uh, as a as a reference um or the finished product that i made on uh, on, my, on the on the uh, coloring drawing app how i how i created this uh particular portion other than that uh, thank you for your time thank you for, uh subscribe to Nancito's art you have a great day thank you uh, hey folks, uh, Nathito from Nathito's Art here again. Just real quick, I just wanted to do a little quick summary of uh, of the uh, portrait that I made of uh, Al Pacino uh, from uh, or Tony Montana Scarface. Uh, basically, uh, the, the session I used a dry erase board, dry erase marker. Uh, I bought this board at the Dollar, Dollar Tree store. 
in this marker. Uh, basically, I bought this board and marker because I wanted to do a. Uh, I figured doing tutorials like uh, how to draw eyes, nose, or uh, basically cartoon characters, or simply simple uh, characters uh, that are less detailed. I think it's probably best to show you on a whiteboard. Uh, so that's what that's what primarily what it's going to be used for. But uh, I decided to do uh, this particular drawing or a detailed drawing, uh, in this case a portrait of a, of a Scarface, Tony Montana, because I wanted to show you that uh, my channel is basically also part of, uh, of learning and uh, using the tools you have to your advantage, uh, where you don't have to use the most expensive equipment or the most expensive tools to uh, make uh, detail or great art. Um, it's a learning experience, uh, so uh, you're just going to, you're going to grow as go along. So that's part that's part of my channel. That was I was trying to uh, convey uh, during my uh, tutorial process earlier, but you know, I only had like 15, 16 minutes of talking, and I uh, I kind of rushed during during the process. But now that I have a, I'm a little bit more calmed down. You know, basically that's what I'm I'm portraying here. That uh, even with a dry erase marker, dry erase board, you can still make. Uh, uh, detailed drawings uh, now also you'll see in the end there's a there's a, a full uh, colored version that I actually colored in in uh, media Bing or you can use sketchbook pro there's two programs I, I recommend downloading them uh, for uh, they're free downloading them if you're having trouble with with coloring or shading they're a lifesaver uh, Basically, uh, like a drawing like this, no, a normal person would think, "Well, why would I do a drawing on a on a on a, uh, on a whiteboard with a, a dry erase marker if I'm not going to save it?" Well, thankfully, technology today we have the smartphone. You can take a picture of this, this particular drawing, even if it's done on a, on a on a whiteboard like this. So, if you want to get a whiteboard in a in a Dry erase marker, you know, I recommend doing it too, you know. But uh, you can take a picture of the drawing, detailed drawing, load it up to the uh, coloring drawing app, This, in my case, Media Bang. You can uh, work with layers, there's, there's programs out there they show on YouTube, they can show you how to, how to set up layers. Or if you want to keep it more traditional, you can do the coloring uh, directly from, uh, from your smartphone as long as you have a, uh, a a pen that has the uh, touch touchpad capabilities like this right here you can do that you can do the coloring traditionally um, you can pick any uh, any type of medium either either from markers uh, color pencils acrylics and so on uh, so basically it's uh, it's 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 you don't have to worry about messing up your original drawing you don't have to worry about going out and buying expensive uh, mediums art equipment pencils pens and at the same, you'll save money, and of course you'll save. Uh, um, basically, you're, 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 you save yourself from making a mess, <laughs> from you know uh, throwing away, sharpening, and it's good for the environment. So it's something I recommend doing. So you'll see, uh, you'll see at the end uh, of this uh, the video, the tutorial video I uh, made about Scarface. You'll see at the end. You'll see this particular. Uh, Part of the uh, of the uh, of the portrait that I did to give it a, a quick sketch, and then you'll see my finished product, how I how it looks finished after I colored it, uh, that I loaded it up uh, on uh, Media Bank and uh, make corrections there. So remember, if you enjoy this content, uh, be sure to uh, give a like. Subscribe, appreciate if you subscribe. I, I appreciate the uh, the uh, the support, and uh, ring the bell for notifications so I can bring you uh, more art tutorials, art challenges in the future, and uh, we're gonna go together. And remember, a drawing is never done unless you say it's done. I thank you for your time. This is Nicito. You have a great day. Take care. Goodbye.